Okay, let's do that. So I'm gonna mix here. We have here cadmium yellow light, cadmium red medium, sap green, glycerin crimson, and white. So I'm gonna take cadmium red medium, take some white, and what I wanna do is tone that pink down. This is really too, too strong. Now I can tone my pink down. Um, I can use a touch of green. Why green, right? You're saying why green? Mm -hmm. Because it's opposite. opposite. Yeah, it's opposite on the color wheel. It's opposite red on the color wheel. So that will tone down my red and make it more earthy. And when I put add white to it, it will be more, instead of having it like a, a fuchsia or a light, strong light color, it is a, a beautiful pink, but it's toned down. It's not like it, when it comes out of the tube. And there's nothing wrong with having it, the color you see, you, what you see in the tube, if this is what you like, it's fine. Um, but I, I like to tone it down a bit so it doesn't take over. Um, let's take a bit more white. So this is what I'm mixing. Alternatively, you can mix glycerin crimson with your cadmium red medium and you add white. Uh, that will tone it down too. Okay, let's do that. So we started in the, in the reference. This area doesn't have any flowers at all. Um, it's really kind of... Um, uh, empty in here, but uh, I'm painting right now this area and I'm going to put a couple of just a, a suggestion of pink in here, right in there and one here, just because I don't want this empty stuff, empty, empty area in here. Uh, I'd like to connect this cluster of pink to the cluster of pink I'll, I'm going to be doing down at the bottom. The cluster of pink at the bottom is not strong. It's not a, it's not busy. So, and I'm adding a touch more red in here and I'm going to start. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to start adding, there's a big one in here. So, uh, let's do that. Um, and another one kind of in this area. We basically, we can put whatever we want. And that's what we're gonna do after. We're gonna ignore the um, reference and we're gonna start working and putting stuff, whatever we like to see. Now, let's put, uh, one or two, because there's a movement this way, kind of an S um, with the flowers. Let's put a big one here. Because we're getting, we're coming forward. Like we need a couple of big ones. So. You're using a bright? A bright, the corner of my bright brush. It's amazing what you could do with one brush. You can, you know, you can, you can, um, you, you know, use it to make it look like you're using a filbert or a round or, you know, it just depends on how you're using it. So I'm creating the shape right there. Um, big petals here because the center is lower. I don't want the center, the center of the flower, the inside of the flower, flower is lower. Uh, it's tilted, it's not facing us. So I'm making sure that this is how it's going to look. Like the, I'm gonna put the, the middle down, lower. That's why it's, uh, it's like this. Sorry, did you ask a question? There. All right, good. Let's do another one. Let's have another one here, down here. 
right there. Okay. One down here. And we can change the colors. We can add later on um, some purples as well over this, over some of, or in between. I, would, I wouldn't add on top of the pink, I would add in between. This is drooping, drooping down. Now we have a couple of small ones, which are so pretty. Okay. And um, another one. Okay, let's take, take, let's put another one. Let's put one. Sorry, this one here needs a bit of adjustment. Okay. Let's take that. I'm going to throw in a couple of dots here and there, I think, before I switch to yellow. Do you want me to give you some time before I continue? Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to continue with pink. I'm going to continue with pink because there's more. Let's do that. There's more pink in here. There's a big one, and there's there are two big ones at the on the side. How far down are you to the canvas? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> okay, got it. You're lower. Okay, good. This is looking a tiny bit too white right now. This is pink. Okay, what I'm putting right now is it's pink. So what I when I glanced at the yeah, that's better. Uh, at the monitor, I could see that the color looks white, and it's not white. It's actually pink. Perfect, good. Just we're building up color in here and, and texture and, and layers of different um, 
kind of flowers. Okay, good, excellent. All right, let's put orange, the orange flowers. So I'm gonna use the cadmium red light. Mm -hmm. I'll push this up a bit, put some cadmium red light. Cadmium red, uh, sorry, cadmium yellow light. Oh, yeah. cadmium oh, yellow, yellow light. light. Yeah. And then I'm going to take some of the red I have here, and that will give me a perfect orange. Uh -huh. There. Touch a very small amount with the corner of my brush. Because mm -hmm. um, even if I'm using, if I'm going to change them or put a yellow color eventually, I need to put a, a dark color a first. Yeah. yeah. So I, I like to use. Um, orange or, or it's not really orange orange it's like a, a, a muted yellow um what are okay. you using Leal? sorry cadmium yeah, red light a cadmium yellow light and a touch of the cadmium red medium i have here but just touch it small amount with the corner of my brush like this and then i put it in a yellow and that's there there that's a, an awesome, beautiful, warm, uh, yellow, orange, yellow. Okay. Again, I'm not trying to um, paint a specific flower, um, just a suggestion of a flower. Um, this one, I like the way, I, for me, it's the position more than what they are, what kind of flower they are. Um, I like to make sure that I vary the position um, of those flowers. Okay, this one is sideways, kind of. If possible, if possible, because you know sometimes it's not that easy to, on a small scale, to show the different positions. Mm -hmm. But um, that's looking good. This is not in what I'm putting right here is not in the reference. This is what not where they are. But if I look, at, I'm looking at the reference. If I look at this reference and I look at the cluster of yellows in here, mm -hmm. they go in a circle, half a circle right there. So I'm not really keen on creating half a circle. So I'm just gonna position them around um, the same area, approximately the same area, but change the position a bit. This is good. Nice, nice, okay. Um, Let's go and add one or two, like here, the side. Okay. This is all needs, all of these flowers need a kind of a dot in there to show the center in, uh, in the middle. Sometimes I just put dots, it doesn't, doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that it's a specific flower. It could be a bud, but it's just, I'm distributing the colors I'm using here. I'm gonna take more red 
put it in here. So I'm making more of like a darker orange or an orange right here. Okay, nice, really, really nice, beautiful colors. So we, we're, you know, I'm using here orange. I've been using it on these flowers right here. So I am gonna do a, a, something else as well. Not only dots and flowers, I'm gonna introduce a bit of orange kind of in a, in a um, kind of a grass or leaves or in here. So that, because you don't want, we don't want just, just uh, greens in there. Um, that, that kind of movement or texture, um, it won't be only, only green. It will be some orange in here too. Are we adding blue as well? You mentioned yeah. blue. Yeah, we were, we're gonna add blue, absolutely. For what color is you made the green, sap green and adding yellow? For the green? In yeah. Hand? Yes. Yeah. Sap green, cadmium okay. yellow. Okay, great. Sorry. Yeah. I think I added a bit of Naples yellow in here somewhere, maybe. I'm not sure what I did yet last time, but With the sap, green, sap green and, and, uh, and uh, cadmium yellow light is fine too. Um, Let's introduce now some purple, any purple, any purple you like. Um, I have here. Can I ask you a question first, yeah. Leon? Mm -hmm. When you're introducing the, the, the orange, are you doing it right across or are you focused on one side? No, right across everywhere. Right so across? The, yeah. Okay. So I'm uh, any any um, uh, purple you have is fine. Uh, Dioxazine, prism, violet, violet, uh, any color purple you have. I'm using ultramarine violet right right now. Okay. Hmm. To have some white here. Okay. So oh, that's blue or ultramarine violet? I thought you said no, ultramarine violet. Oh, it's just, white. It looks blue right now on the screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know it looks blue, but it's ultramarine violet. And white. And white? And white yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
So it's just dots that you're doing, not. Yeah. yeah no, nothing specific. No, that would look like um, you know. There's a there are a lot of buds yeah. in the, in there. Um, so it's it just for color. It's not really for anything else. It's not to show any kind of specific flower. It's just introducing that that purple is is going to be a, a beautiful color uh, to break the the the, the uh, pink that we have here. Is your screen making the the purple very light or like is it dark? No, it is making the purple light. Let okay. Because it's, uh, it. it's starting to compete with the pink. I have to put too much too much uh, white in it. And the last one is going to be a bit of blue. So I'm just using cerulean blue and white. Again, it's the same idea. Um, I'm going to bring, uh, let me see if this cerulean is light enough. It's not. Put some more white in here. This is more like bringing the uh, color of the sky into the, the yeah. greens in here. What are you doing now? Sorry. Just cerulean blue and white. Just oh, it's cerulean blue. Okay. I yeah. thought it was the purple still. Okay. No, I'm just. You're too fast. <laughs> I'm going to stop in a minute anyway. Here you are. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> it's hard to, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to take some, a bit of purple and put it here, or, or even you could use even blue in here, in here. Actually, maybe, maybe blue is nicer. Let's see. Let's see. I'll try blue, blue and, and white. Really makes them jump out. You can see them now. Mm. Cerulean blue and white. Yeah. This is so much fun. It is. It is. Okay, there are a couple here too. Excuse me. That's you. Thank you.
Okay, let's put some um, some centers for these flowers. Let's take some green, any green. I'm using here yellow right there. And I have cerulean here. I'm just mixing those these two colors together and making a green. There we go. Okay, let's put some Okay, it's so pretty. It's really nice color in here and there. This is all kind of a little bit of green here and there. That one too. Let's put it for the orange one too. All right, awesome. What else do we have? Blue in here, right there. And that that is great because now I can, uh, I can't add stems yet. Let's see if there's anything, maybe centered on this one. I'm gonna add a bit of white so I can see it because I can't see. Orange, I'm putting some green in the orange. Orange and pink. So when I put the green and it's a dot, I'm putting a dot and I let it dry and then I go back and add a bit of green, uh, a light green over dabs. So it doesn't look like a blob. That's great. Okay, let's add because I'm I'm using green. I'm just gonna add a couple of leaves in there in green, random. What color are you using? Uh, light green, so I'm using uh, yellow and um, cerulean blue. And um, I'm having, I have a bit of white in there. But it's more like a glaze, okay? So it's not thick, but just for texture. Is it very bright? Hmm? Is it bright? Well, it is. Yes, it is bright. Yes, it is. I'm not going to put too much um, because we want to go back to the the uh, the green that we are using, which is more like earthy green. These greens are uh, what, what I'm using right now is more like a fun colored green. It's such a light. It's not earthy. It's just for, uh, the only reason I'm doing this is just for adding texture. So eventually what I'm going to do is take a, a small brush, round small brush, wet it, and let's see if we can give a couple, I think, I think it's better if I use earthy green. What is this green? There's Okay. 
no this is this is just more of an earth or not earth dark green so if you i'm using i'm using here hooker's green with yellow but if you have sap green you can just add some darks darker greens in here that would be awesome too because i can see that this is all light right now and it needs some depth in certain areas just bring in some darks dark spots in do we need to connect some of the stems to the flowers though with the flowers yeah sure if you want to yeah 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 go for it yes Yes, that's on white. What kind of green are you using now? It's the same green. It's, I, I have hooker's green here, and I'm using hooker's green, yellow light, and a bit of white. Just adding a different kind of green um, than the one, the one I have. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to bring it up, because I like that light color in behind in this area. So I'm gonna to try to keep it like that and bring some darks in between to give some depth. This is not an easy project because it's layering. You're, we're layering back, background, foreground, background, foreground. So sometimes we will be working with um, negative painting and sometimes just foreground, you know, putting leaves, stems, and sometimes we go in in between that and, and, and put some depth in between the leaves. It's a lot of work, but like I said, if mentioned before, it, the more layers we have, the nicer it looks. And then we will glaze some of these layers. So cute. Love that. Okay, one more time with the colors you used. Uh, what I'm using right now? Mm -hmm. It's uh, Hooker's Green. Um, cadmium Yellow Light and a bit of white. If you don't have hooker's green and you don't want to use it, uh, you could use sap green, just add a bit of uh, red. Yeah, touch of red in it. And white? Yeah. Okay. Red, red, yellow, and white. Mm -hmm. I'm adding a bit more yellow now to the same colors, just a tiny bit more yellow, just to change the green I'm using. Okay, and then. Are you adding leaves? Pardon? Are you adding leaves? Leaves? 
yeah i'm not sure what you're doing with that green I'm nothing i'm not i'm not i'm not doing some anything specific with the green asteroid all i'm doing is i'm just dabbing? yeah putting some greens here and there because just to add uh, depth and texture because everything is um looks like you know um lines yeah exactly thank you yes okay. everything looks like lines everywhere so i'm just filling in between a bit of more green like uh, more mass of greens here and there just to anchor all of those lines that are floating. This is a back and forth kind of thing. It's not gonna be just one layer and that's it, we move on this, we're gonna go again, add something else. So. I would come probably here and find that this is too flat. I'm gonna add um, here, I'll just take yellow and just add leaves. But the more, you see how it, it, it looks so, so nice when you have lots of things happening in here. The only thing is these colors need to be adjusted all the time because they dry darker, harsher. Um, so they need to be adjusted. So I might go in now and say, take red and white and make a you know, pink in here and just go back in here and then add a bit of pink because I have too much let's say too much uh, green now. Yeah. Smaller little kind of kind of yeah. cute little dots of pink here and there because we need that. We need to add dark, tinier, smaller dots in between because we have big ones, big flowers. Then we have the leaves. Then you need to go back and add some kind of smaller ones on top. It's like we're, we're growing our garden here. We're, yes, we're exactly. growing every little leaf, every little petal. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's all about texture and, and different sizes of those um, brush strokes. Because, yeah. you know, really, when you look at something like that in nature, it, it's all of the, those flowers are not the same size. Yeah. I'm going ahead. Just, uh, just to show, show you that the green I'm putting there is not going to be the la last thing. You know, in between, I'm going to, we're going to be adding some other things. Um, see that, that this will soften all of that, those lines I was putting, all of that green I was putting in there. And those little ones always connect. They connect the big ones. These little ones in here, you, your eye doesn't jump like this from one thing, to one, one flower to another. It, it goes, it flows nicely because these will guide your eye from the big one, little ones here, and then big one, then a couple of little ones here, and then big one, you know, like it's like, it's like a connection. 